push people beyond what's going on season, sitting down from uh, the company of a single party uh, misguise and, and mostly from, uh, uh, from mid-20. Um, it just suddenly the, the, the community of uh, Tron, a smart contract platform, has been touted as the blockchain uh, that is effectively banking the unbanked around the world. Uh, according to Chiao Long Customer Support at Alliance Dow, Tron stands out as the best platform for this purpose, especially when compared to competitors like Ethereum, Bitcoin, and Solana. Wong argues that these other platforms are either too volatile, too extensive, or new uh, for use in developing countries. Uh, Tron's success in banking the unbanked is attributed to its speed, affordability, and longevity in the market. Wang cites on-chain data, particularly stablecoin activity, uh, to support this claim. Uh, most notably, uh, the majority of USDT activities conducted on the Tron platform, uh, with many people using USDT on Tron for payments and remittances, uh, facilitated by peer-to-peer -peer portals like Binance, P2P, and Paxful. Uh, the platform's dominance in stablecoin activity can be attributed to its structure, uh, which addresses scaling challenges and offers a more cost-effective transaction model compared to Ethereum. Uh, additionally, Tron was one of the first platforms to support USDT, uh, tracking significant USDT trading activity away from Ethereum due to the latter's congestion and high fees. Um, way that would do that. The vision of Tron's co-founder. Uh, Justin Sun, the co-founder of Tron, envisions the platform serving a global population of 8 billion people. He emphasizes that Tron is still in the early stages of realizing against this vision that remains committed to its objective. This ambitious goal aligns with Tron's current circulation of over 48.8 billion USDT, surpassing the $39.7 billion circulating on Ethereum as the event of December 26th. While there is optimism surrounding Tron's potential to bank the unbank, some experts like Nick Carter acknowledge the platform's suitability for this purpose, but caution that intermediaries such as super fintechs and banks play a critical role in stablecoin transactions. Carter suggests that the influence of these centralized platforms may eventually diminish the relevance of consumer blockchains like Tron. Uh, in conclusion, Tron's efforts to bank the unbanked have garnered attention and support, uh, but the role of intermediaries uh, in the evolving landscape of blockchain technology uh, pose challenges to its long-term success. As the platform continues to pursue its vision, the dynamics of the blockchain industry will undoubtedly shape its trajectory. Uh, why did the blockchain go to the party? Because I just heard it was a block party. With that said, thanks for watching, and until next time.